Hey guys, it's BSRC here with RC Nightmare. You guys asked for a how to wire your BEC tutorial and we're delivering. I'm going to show you how to do it in this video here. I got it all laid out in front of me. Um, for this setup I have the Cast Creations BEC Pro. Uh, most, of you, most of you probably use the BEC. Not many people need the Pro. I'm using this on a different project so I just happen to have it. Um, I have a low C speed controller and motor setup and a 2.4 gigahertz receiver just to show you how it's all done. Now, Setting up a BEC is pretty straightforward. Um, the most common question we get with wiring is, you know, why, where do the wires go for the BEC? Well, the power wires go right to your battery. So you can see here, I got the power wires from the BEC going right into the same connector as the speed controller. So they share the same connector. I've actually soldered them both together here. So the BEC is getting power right off the battery, as is the speed controller. And then the wires out of the BEC are going to plug into our, C our receiver. Now before we do that, we have to disconnect the power wires from our speed controller connector. So most speed controllers have a BEC built into them that powers your receiver and your servos. We don't want both of them plugged in at the same time, otherwise our castle BEC and our speed controller BEC will be fighting each other. So we need to disconnect the power wires for this BEC from their ESC. How do we do that? Well, we're going to depin one of the wires in this small connector. I'll show you how to do that here. So there's three wires. We have our ground wire, the red power wire, and the orange wire is our signal wire. All we need to get rid of is the red power wire. It's pretty straightforward. All you're going to need is a small blade. You can use a box cutting blade like I have here or an X-Acto blade. And you're going to lift up the small tab on this side of the connector right in the middle. Just ever so slightly stick the blade in there and lift up on that tab. I use a blade because it's pretty small and you got to be able to get underneath it. Just be careful we don't want to uh, break the tab off otherwise the wire will never go back in again. So just take your time with it. When you got it lifted up, just like so, you can pull the red wire out. Now you may need to separate it, give yourself a little slack. I should have done that first. I got the red wire isolated a little bit here. Give myself a little bit more slack. I'm just pulling the wires apart. And we'll try this again. So we lift up the center tab just a little bit. No, she's not really cooperating. I'm trying to be as careful as possible. You don't want to just wrench in it. You break it right off. And your connector is no good. Okay, I think I have it lifted. Oh, not quite enough, just a little bit more. It's a fine line between lifting it and breaking it right off, so just take your time here, guys. Okay, got that lifted. Now I can pull her out. So you can see that I have the center wire out just like that. It's intact. If I push this back in, it'll lock right back into the connector. So we'll set this aside. It's probably a good idea to tape that off so it doesn't touch anything else. Now, you can put your ESC connector into the receiver like normal. In this case, it's channel 2. 1 to turn, 2 to burn. So I have our speed controller plugged in, our signal wire going to it. And now the BEC output wire can go into any spare channel on your receiver. Now, I do have a battery channel here, I'm sorry, spare slot. In this case, it's actually called the battery slot. It may not be on yours, you may just have an extra one left over. I'll plug it into there. And she'll be all set then. So we have our battery power going to the receiver. ESC, I'm sorry. Goes to the ESC. The battery power also goes to our BEC. The BEC has the black and, white, black and red wires that power our receiver. And our speed controller just has the orange and black wire. Orange is the signal for the throttle speed, and black is just ground. It's not used. So now this BEC is giving all the power to our receiver and our servo that we plug into the other channel. And in this case, it could be a higher-end servo. That's usually why I use a BEC. If you have a rock crawler or a really high-end truck, you need a high-power servo. The BEC will make sure it gets all the current that it wants, so you get the most potential out of it. So that's the setup, guys. There's nothing to it. 
Really, the only thing you got to remember is to disconnect your red power wire from the speed controller and have power going from your battery right to the BEC. And again, here I just have both my power and ground wires going into the same connector. Now, if you don't want to solder it permanently like that, you could do a parallel adapter. I do have a video recorded earlier. You can look it up on our RC Nightmare channel about how to solder up a parallel adapter. That will also work. It will allow you to plug both these into the same battery. That's it, guys. If you have any questions, comment below, or you can post up at RC Nightmare Forums. We'll get all your questions answered there. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.